In this lesson we do some work on compass directions. So we've got our directions there, north and south, east and west, and that silly saying, never eat soggy worms, where the N stands for north, E for east, S for south, W for west. So never eat soggy worms, good way to remember it. Okay, remember we need to start from the north and work around clockwise. Okay, and we're going to look at a direction that's right between north and east. That direction is known as northeast. If we have a direction right between the south and the east, we say southeast. If it's between the south and the west, we say southwest. And between north and west, we say northwest. So those compass directions there, let's put them to the side a bit. Example one, we've got our island here with a few points on the island. And we're asked, what is the direction in part A from R to L? Well, from R, so we're starting from R, and we're going towards L. Okay, so that's the arrow direction there. If we repeat that arrow direction on our compass, we can see that it is southeast. Okay, the direction is southeast. From Q to M. Well, we're going from Q, and we're going to the direction towards M. Okay, so that arrow, we repeat that. We can see that it's going in the northeasterly direction. So, NE, northeast. What about from Q to T? Well, there's Q, and we're going towards T. So, in that direction there, if we repeat that on the compass, that direction, NW, northwest. What about from R to T? Well, we're going from R towards T. All right, so that arrow direction, repeating that, would be southwest. Example two, we've got our island there. We're asked to follow the instructions to find the hidden treasure. Oh, this sounds like good fun. Now, from B, we're going to go four kilometres northeast. Then go five kilometres east. Then three kilometres southeast. And finally, we then go two kilometres southwest. Okay, we've got our little compass there, which has markings which indicate distance as well. We're going to use this tracker to help us. Now, right from the middle there, that radius there indicates one kilometre. That radius, two kilometres. Then we have three kilometres, four kilometres, and five kilometres. Okay, let's go step by step. From B, we're going to go four kilometres northeast. So let's move our tracker right on B, move our compass onto that point B, and we're going to move the tracker four kilometres northeast. There we have it. So let's give that step a tick. Next step, go five kilometres east. So we move the compass right so it's right on the centre, and we need to go five kilometres east. There we have it. So that's our new position. Let's give that a tick. The next step, we need to go three kilometres southeast. So let's move the compass, and then three k southeast. There we go. Let's give that a tick. Our last step is to go two kilometres southwest. So we need to reposition our compass. And going 2 k's southwest, let's move that to that position. So what have we got? We've ticked that off, and we can see that the hidden treasure is buried at V.